Hi guys, it's me Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Okay, so for my ornament of the day, I made a little crochet Santa Claus. This is a tutorial that I found on YouTube. The name of the channel is called Canadian Egg Excursions. <laughs> and I will put a link in the description box below on where you can find it. I believe it's a three part, let me see. No, two part, I think, video. Anyway, <laughs> I'll put a link to it in the description box below. Anyway, I think he turned out really cute. He even has a little mustache. Uh, yeah, mustache and a little pom-pom and she tells you exactly how to make the pom-pom uh, it's a very little simple pom-pom I use some sparkle yarn for the pom-pom part <laughs> anyway I really like it I think it turned out I think he turned out really cute okay so now okay so for part two of today's vlogmas uh, we are on day nine, and in, on the index card it says day nine, it says hang me on the tree. Okay, so let's go over there and see what Seta made for me. <laughs> okay, so it's in a little bag. Oh, it's pretty. It is a little hanging um, progress keeper stitch marker. Very pretty. I love it. Okay, so let me hang it on the tree. Okay, so I will pop in a picture here so then you can see it better. So thank you, Seta. I, I love the little stitch marker. Uh, I will have it hang it on my tree, and then after the Christmas season is over, I can use it as a stitch marker or a progress keeper or uh, even make a zipper pull out of it. Thank you so much. Uh, I did give Seta a, an ornament yesterday, and she did open it, so she's already seen it. And uh, it was an ornament that I made, and um, she really liked it. It was so excited. I was so excited to watch her open it because she just, oh, she squealed with delight. So I'm very happy about that. And I did have several people I noticed in the comment, well, in the comments of that video, uh, where I got the pattern from. So I'm going to pop in a picture here of the ornament because I did take a picture before I sent it to her. And so I will put in a picture here of the ornament so that way you can see it. And then I will be sure to link the pattern uh, to where you put a link <laughs> to the pattern to where you can get it uh, if you want to make one for yourself. Okay, so yes, I did make a Star Trek Enterprise ornament for Seta. When I saw it, I couldn't resist. I just thought, oh, I have to make it for her. <laughs> and so uh, I found a link in... Um, it's a pattern that I had downloaded quite a while ago that I had in my files in my on my laptop but uh, the where, where I got it was off of Ravelry but then like I said it was a downloaded free um, PDF file or whatever so I will put a link in the description box where you can get that okay next item or part of the vlogmas video of the day is the Christmas around the globe so the first country I'm going to talk about is Haiti okay so Christmas in Haiti in Haiti at the beginning of December people start looking for Christmas trees they might cut pine branches or go to the market and get trees brought from the mountains the trees are decorated with bright ornaments and at the bottom of the tree is a large nativity scene on Christmas Eve, children place their newly cleaned shoes filled with straw under the tree on the porch. They hope that Santa, who is called Tatan Tatan Tantan Noel, something like that, uh, will remove straw and put presents in and around the shoes. Often, lots of houses and neighborhoods are open with all lights on until about 3 a.m. on Christmas Eve. Some people go to midnight mass church service, or you might go out carol singing. After the mass, people come home and eat the main meal called Réveillon, which is a French term. If you remember when I talked about France, um, they also had a meal called that. <laughs> and it's a French term meaning to wake up, and it's uh, what the main meal is called 
um, that they eat. Okay, so the meal normally starts in the early hours of Christmas morning and lasts until dawn. Christmas Day is much quieter with people sleeping off the celebrations of the night before. However, there will be more eating and playing with the toys from Tantan Noel. <laughs> okay, so the next country I'm going to talk about is Hungary. Okay, in Hungary, Christmas Eve is very important, and it is called Svent Este, something like that, which means Holy Evening. People spend the evening with their family and decorate the Christmas tree. Sometimes only the adults decorate the tree without the children there. So when the children come in and see the tree, it's a great surprise. And they are told that the angels brought the tree for them. Okay, the main Christmas meal is uh, it's also eaten on Christmas Eve. Okay. The midnight mass service is very popular in Hungary. Most people go to church after their Christmas meal. On Christmas Eve, children also hope that they will be left some presents under the Christmas tree. They're told that the presents are brought by Jesus. Um, children wait outside the room where the tree is, and when they hear bells ringing, they can enter, and the presents await them under the Christmas tree. On Christmas Day, people visit their families. St. Nicholas also visits Hungary on the 6th of December. In Hungary, he is known as... Mikulas, I think. <laughs> um, children leave out shoes or boots on the windowsill to be filled with goodies. Okay, and the next country, the third country for today, is going to be Iceland. Okay, Christmas in Iceland. Christmas is also known as Yule in Iceland. This comes from the ancient winter solstice celebrations. Okay. Okay, so on December 23rd in Iceland, that is um, St. Thorlikur's Day, I think. Uh, anyway, on this day, the main custom is to eat a simple meal. Uh, the Christmas tree is usually decorated on this day. Uh, there is also a big shopping day for last-minute gifts with stores remaining open until midnight. Okay, on Christmas Eve, December 24th, celebrations start at Ice, in Iceland at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve. This may have come from the old Icelandic tradition when a new day started at 6 p.m. and not midnight. Icelandic children open their presents after the evening meal on Christmas Eve. Um, and then the next day is Christmas Day, and this day is usually celebrated with the extended family. And then on December 26th, which is, is Boxing Day, it's another day of visiting friends and family and eating lots more. <laughs> okay, and then one of the most important nights of the year in Iceland is New Year's Eve. And there are several magical traditions that are supposed to happen on it. Cows are meant to be able to talk. Seals take on human form and the dead rise from their graves. And the elves move house. Bonfires have been lit on Christmas Eve, I mean, sorry, New Year's Eve, since the late 1700s. People also have big fireworks displays to bring in the new year. Uh, this is called something I can't pronounce, but it means blowing out the year, okay? Uh, and then on the Epiphany, which is January the 6th, that is the last day of Yule, and that is celebrated with bonfires and elfin dances. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching for Vlogmas Day 9, and come back tomorrow, and we will do Vlogmas Day 10. Bye, guys.